Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy and welcome to the series of Playwright Web Automation with Java. All right, guys. In this video, I'm super excited because we are going to create our own page object model and we are going to automate a login page, which is uh, VWS login page by using the page object model in Playwright in Java. All right. We will cover what exactly is a page object model. We will understand the folder structure that I am using. We will write the base classes. We will write the page classes as well as we'll write the test classes in the end. All right. So this is the demo that I just wanted to show you how it will look like. You will have a this test class available where we will be basically navigating to the login page. We will basically doing the entering the username password and we'll basically after cleaning up the player. So this is the uh, page that we are working on. Uh, right now we are working on a, on a login page. We have a username, we have a password and we have a sign in button to sign in. Okay. So let's understand and let's work with the page object model in Playwright. All right. So let's just start. Awesome. Uh, first of all, guys, just wanted to give you a very small clarification. Right. Uh, this is just, uh, it will take less than a minute where I will just explain what exactly is a page object model. Okay. I hope you already know it, but uh, generally page object model basically is uh, aligned with the Selenium most of the time where it basically is a a uh, model or you can say it's a kind of a design pattern where you have every page is uh, basically you keep locator of a every page as well as their respective functions in a separate uh, page classes something called as page classes and uh, the test classes are different and uh, different labeled. okay so why, what what exactly it means for example here, if you see, we have a Gmail page, login page, right? Similarly, we have a VW login page, right? It's a separate page class where it can contains page uh, locators. We call it PL and it can contain page functions. So functions can be uh, based, uh, whatever the action that we want to perform on the locators. For example, if you want to submit something, we can create a function around it and we'll call, call it as page actions. So it contains page locators and page actions most of the time. Okay. So this page uh, basically contains these two things. Whereas your test class, test class will, will, will call this uh, page uh, locators and page actions and it will execute all the things. All right. And you can have your test base also where you can import some of the test functionalities like before suite, after suite. But right now we are not introducing test base because it will make it very, really complex. We have just made a very simple one where because we have we have made a base class for the pages so that uh, we uh, we can uh, associate with it right so again you can have your base pages also you can have your test bases also uh, we will explore uh, how you want to do it in this thing okay awesome so this is uh, okay. uh, so this is an article which basically talks about a uh, page object model in the playwright and uh, it basically, if you see, if you want to pro provide a structure to your automation code, right, you can use page object pattern in this, uh, uh, in the playwright, right? And you can call certain method and they have also, uh, they have basically mentioned that, uh, this is how you are basically working with the locators. And here you can see the page actions or uh, page functions available there. And uh, there is a test class, which is using them afterwards. Okay. So let's understand this. I have already created the framework with you guys, uh, for you guys before that. Uh, so we're going to go with the scratch one. So I'm just, just showing you a couple of things here that uh, this is, uh, which is already created. We'll go one by one. We have a base class also, which will basically uh, call work with the playwright uh, and it will basically set the context there. It will handle the launch playwright and launch application and close playwright for us. Uh, we have a page object for the uh, login page and the page functions available, right? We have a couple of utilities available as well as we have a test class, which will basically uh, import the base class and basically do the, what do we call it? Uh, run the test case, one test case, which is login test. Cool. Make sense? All right. Awesome. Okay. So let's create a new project. Okay. And this project basically guys is already available on the GitHub. So don't worry about it. I will create a create from archetype. Let's load the archetype. Uh, we are going to use a very simple one, which was quick start and click on next. Uh, we call it, we will call it play right on demo and rest of them. Uh, we can keep it as it is, or let's say for 
we we'll use our uh, as that dot nice so this thing click on next group ids are similar uh it will basically use a new window so that we can take a reference if it is, that is required okay it will take a time let me come back okay so build has finished uh, for us so it we has created two folders for us which is very important which is main and the uh, main and the test folders right awesome so first of all we need a uh, form dot action where we need to mention the dependencies right what kind of dependencies we are looking to let's jump into it like the first one i think we need to add uh, is playwright right uh, right now if you see we already have a uh, j unit which is we don't require right uh, we only need test ng that we're going to use because we're going to use the test uh, annotations and we will use the playwright okay uh let's go to our previous one uh you will see there are dependency that i have added uh, playwright test ng and apart j log 4j for the logging purposes this is log 4j updated there are two core and the normal api sonar cube i have added just for reference uh and the report ng that we have added right so all of them let's do one thing let's copy directly here and uh this will be available guys so don't worry uh dependencies uh and here we go okay now click on this uh red icon so that uh it will just resolve this and it will add to your project okay now we will add the folder structure for how you want to basically have the folder structure for this okay in the java if you see there's a file which is created uh we will delete this Uh, we don't need this as of now and here also we will delete this because don't need this as of okay now here in the main folder what kind of folder structure that you want to have right let's see first of all i'm going to create one package so this will be my base and i'm going to create another package so in after base we will have a pages and here we can have one more package which is utils we will call it as utils and test one i think it's very simple we uh what are we going to have it test test okay go to your java create a new folder package and let's say test right that's it that's set up now awesome now what we need is we need to create a base class first okay so we call it as base base class okay uh here i am just creating couple of uh, dummy classes as of well. so login login pwo test class so we will going to mention this as a test in pages we will have one more one more class one more class which is login page login pwo page Page. empty one okay and utils uh, as of now we can copy paste the utils right these are pretty straight forward so we can directly call copy them okay. right and we we'll, let's check if there is no uh, okay so everything the works great i think uh, we can touch it out with the build project so that i uh, will see if there is no random errors are there in the build right i think build compiled successfully so everything works well awesome so let's move to our page first okay so this is our page and this we need to get the we need to fetch the locator first right and i think easiest way so i already have a uh, username password created for this so we can create by clicking on this three drive uh inspect element uh, i think uh, one of the interesting way that i generally use is i use selector hub where we can directly copy the relative path and you will see that it's already right for oh, awesome so first we need first we'll create a base class for uh, sorry a normal class first page class first and then we'll create a base class okay i think this will be easy or you want to create a base first okay uh, it's up to uh, up to us actually uh let's do one thing awesome so page uh, generally i told you right we will have a page locators here as well as page actions page actions are nothing but functions okay okay so first of all we have this uh, 
username right so how you can get this it's very easy guys uh, first of all we need a reference of page from the playwright and uh, this is really important i'll tell you why whenever we want to use the page functions right we will leverage this page okay okay and oh, it's saying that add a constructor okay we need to add a constructor that's it saying so we'll, we'll add the constructor good now uh we can keep our locator in string format right let's say username and here we can mention this is the username in double quotes right duplicate couple of times we'll have a password this is i'm keeping as a camel case right and we'll have a submit button submit button okay copy selector hub copy css selector easy easy peasy right and what is your please tell me awesome cool makes sense so it's already we are done with but there is another thing which is after this we are getting we are getting logged in right there is another page but this is actually if it's you it's a different page dashboard page and you will see that hello wingify is available right selector hub copy css selector also uh this is a selector but this is actually a page two right so we'll use data duplicate class now oh, let's do one thing let's copy paste this one only and we call it dashboard vwo page good everything is done no i'll just try out this thing i will say instead of this i want this no uh, i want your locator what's your locator let's see okay good awesome it's this one 